The keyboard is a bit small, definitely on the small side, but I was able to type in my extremely long password without any mistakes. I did not expect that. In a few past reviews, they said that they do not release security updates. We will take a look at that for sure. You cannot uninstall these apps. Yeah. If you're wondering how to remove them anyways, then by the way, if you want to see all my videos about the AdtomXL, then just type in Chris Viral AdtomXL in the YouTube search and you will find all the videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday in our day and our chance to push hard and a topic for this vlog is turning on the Atom XL for the first time and the setup. So let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews right here, watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So in my last vlog, you can check it out right here. I did the unboxing and the company background check. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Turning it on for the first time. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Let me take a close look. Yeah, this is right at the cusp. Oh my goodness. You can clearly see that this is not a high standard screen, but it's also good enough to not look like a cheap screen. Like the screen door effect is barely visible, but if you look at it from a very close distance, you can you can see it. I think 400 PPI should not go lower than that, but also probably going way higher than that also makes no sense. Anyways, it's fine. Okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's the language right here. English, of course. United States. Vision settings. Anyways, okay, so this is the back button right here. And you can also use the gestures. Okay, start. Let's go. I won't insert my SIM, but I will, of course, connect to my Wi-Fi. The keyboard is a bit small, definitely on the small side, but I was able to type it in. No problem whatsoever, but, you know, my fingers are quite thin, I would assume. No problem for me. Here we go. Connected to the Wi-Fi. Checking for some updates. Installing updates. In a few past reviews, they said that they do not release security updates. We will take a look at that for sure. There we go. Also right here, as you can see, 63% charged. So that's good, you know, for storing the battery anyways. Okay, Google account, I think, yeah, I will f I will log in. Google app, set up my device. Come on, find it. I just went into my Bluetooth settings. I mean, it looks like the phone. It actually was the phone, but there was a problem. Let me try that again. Okay, look right here. Compare back to the Google app, then maybe it will work this time what is going on by now i tried this five times it's just not finding any devices so i will just skip this step so let's go back let's go back okay so don't copy here we go just a second okay okay i will sign in though no way i was able to type in my extremely long password without any mistakes i did not expect that but typing with this thing it's working all right i think i'm almost done i won't use that Got my privacy settings dialed in let's just take google Screen lock. Okay, got my pin ready. Yeah, fingerprint. Let's set this up as well. I will use my thumb. I will add another fingerprint and I will add my thumb again, actually. Okay, so this way it will for sure recognize my thumb in every, like in every scenario. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I don't want to save my audio. Anything else? No, thanks. All right, there it is. Android 10 straight out of the box. Nice. Okay, this was the basic setup. Let's also... Oh, I need to change my layout. All right, that's a, a must-have. We'll take a look into that as well. Got my Play Store set up and now downloading the Zello app. And yeah, here it is. Okay, I will now clean up this mess. Optimize Android. I will probably turn off these animations to help speed everything up. But... Maybe that's not even necessary. It looks it looks smooth to me. It is currently February 2021 and this is the date of the last security update right here. Well, actually, there isn't as much bloatware on this device. There is the whole Google suite, of course. But other than that, there is this Google Duo thingy, Assistant Play Store. Then, believe it or not, most of these apps are actually for the phone. For example, there is the Intercom Walkie Talkie app. Context calendar clock wireless emergency alerts. I don't know about this one. Sound recorder SOS. This app seems a bit buggy to me. 
Yeah, see? This app is weird. This one just crashes. Then we have student mode. We have a game mode. FM radio, sim, sim toolkit, a program for notes, a track back, this track back app right here. Then we have this NFC app right here. This is also pretty amazing. We have this infrared blaster up here. And this is an infrared remote app, basically. Another note program and that's it. It's not too bad. Oh, I almost forgot the best thing actually, toolbox. This is looking quite interesting to me. This thing can measure loudness in dB. Amazing stuff in here. Don't know how exact all of that is, but that's pretty cool. Pressure. Whoa. Speedometer. You even have a magnifier. Heart rate. Place your fingertips on the rear camera to start testing. Okay, that sounds kind of sketchy, but whatever, I can wipe this. Now that is something. Are you kidding me? Whoa, that is cooler than I expected. Okay, I'll try to delete the useless stuff and I will see you in a bit. Okay, bad news. Turns out that you can't delete a single app. Oh, I can, I can uninstall this one. But every other app that I just tried, you cannot uninstall these apps, especially the stupid SOS app. Yeah. If you're wondering how to remove them anyways, then just go to the settings, click on apps, then click on see all the apps. And for example, let's go to this SOS app right there. Click for stop. And then we're going to disable it. This will also hide it. As you can see, it's gone now. A few days later, done with the setup. Let's check it out. As always, dark theme with a black background. I like to do that with all of my devices and I was able to shrink everything down to just one screen and it's looking fairly clean got a few toolbox shortcuts up here I have a phone folder a folder for just stuff all the google apps right here got the zello widget right here yeah and that's basically it so i'm happy with this so as you saw the customization is like so so i mean all in all it's fine don't get me wrong it's fine in my next vlog you can check it out right here i will take a close look at all the specs i will go through my own calculations pixel density and all of that good stuff and i will also talk about my first impressions so i guess i will see you there because that's it for this one smash the like button the way i want to smash a few apps on the freaking phone, but I just can't. Bang the bell like crap to never miss product reviews and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.